Welcome to today's episode on Fall Armworm series. In this episode, we'll talk about the practical management options of the Fall Armyworm. When it comes to the management of the Fall Armyworm, we know that the Fall Armyworm is a new pest in Africa. So various methods have been tried out. These include in the cropping, push-pull technology, biological control, use of biopesticides, use of local substances, and use of plant extracts and botanicals. In this episode, we are going to talk about three management options, which include in the cropping, use of the physical methods, and the push-pull technology. Before a farmer decides on which management option to undertake, the first thing he requires is to scout his farm. Scouting helps the farmer to determine the percentage investigation by the pest on the farm. This is how we do scouting. In your farm, you establish five working stations which form the letter W. Then from the first station, we take 10 consecutive plants. We check the number of infested plants. We write them down or we record them down. Then the second station, we look the number of infested plants in it again and record down. We do the same for all the five stations to get up the total number of infested plants in the field. So from there, we take the total number of infested plants out of 50 to get the percentage of the first infestation in the field. We advise farmers to scout two to three times a week. This is what to look for in the main plant. You open up the funnel to check if you can get the lava inside the main funnel. You also check for the eggs which might be on the leaves or in the underside of the leaves. When a farmer gets a high percentage of the pest investigation, it shows that no much can be done. When the level of percentage investigation is low, it, show, it guides the farmer on which action to take. There are various methods the farmer can do from there to manage his farm, which include the physical or the mechanical method, whereby when he meets the eggs of the fallen on, on the plants, he can crush the eggs and also and pick the lava and crush them. The second option is in the cropping. As you can see in this small plot, in the cropping maize and beans helps also to be able to grow different types of crops in the same field or another type of legumes, which helps reduce the level of pest infestation. That is all to do with the physical method and the intercropping. My colleague Rachel will introduce or we'll talk more about the push-pull technology after the break. Let's talk about the third option in the management of fall armyworm and that is the push-pull technology. Push-pull technology is a cropping system where maize is grown in together with desmodium as an intercrop. Desmodium is planted in between the rows of maize in the same plot surrounded with either bracaria grass or napier grass. The push-pull system has been found to be very highly effective in the management of the invasive fall armyworm. Push-pull system can control fall armyworm up to 80%. For the farmers to uh, get the benefits of the push-pull system in the management of fall armyworm, a farmer must make sure that this modium is well established so that the moths are repelled from our fields. To ensure that you have a good cover of desmodium. The farmers need to plant early in good time. What we advise mostly is that if farmers can plant the companion plants ahead of the maize or ahead of the rain so that it takes on a start on the cereal crop, then we are sure that the farmers can have a good cover of desmodium that will ensure that their fields are fully protected against the fall armyworm. Desmodium that is planted in between the rows of maize is a leguminous plant that fixes 
up to 110% of nitrogen, which benefits the soil and helps in improving the soil fertility, other than adding organic matter to the soil. Desmodium is also used as a cover crop. When you grow desmodium, you will not only be managing the pest, but you will also be preventing soil erosion in your field. You will also be in, uh, improving soil, uh, soil water retention, percolation, that is improving soil uh, moisture content. Desmodium plus bracaria and even napier grass are very good fodder for livestock. And we can uh, use desmodium freshly cut or we can uh, make hay out of it. Managing the pest and plus having all these additional benefits that we are talking about from the push-pull system requires that the, the agronomic, all the agronomic practices are ensured, including proper soil fertility management, timely weeding, especially before the desmodium covers the soil completely. We also have to ensure that we trim desmodium to remain within their lines while the maize is still at a young stage. Until the, the maize is about one meter or, or knee high, then we should then leave the desmodium to now spread, cover the soil, and also to smother the other weeds. With the push-pull system, there is reduced labor because in subsequent seasons, you do not have to replant desmodium. Desmodium and the border plants are, are perennial. So the only uh, thing that you do in the subsequent seasons is to prepare the rows where you are planting your maize and you will be good to go. We have just covered the basics of the push-pull system. In our next episode, we will be discussing more on how do we plant or how do we establish the push-pull plot from the first season and in subsequent season. Make sure to subscribe to this channel to get more, to learn more about the push-pull and the management of all amiwam and even more in the upcoming episodes. Make sure you subscribe. See you then.